people are so quiet. Good. Good. Why is it so quiet? Oh, no, it's kind of bad. Good. Good. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Wow. Hello. <laughs> I forgot that the uh, microphone settings have changed slightly due to some recording. Hello. You hear the. I hope you don't hear the fan behind me or the construction also. I haven't been sleeping very well the last couple of days. Cause my neighbors they're doing construction again. And uh it bothers me a lot. <laughs> even even when I what should I say? Even when I um use earplugs, it's just yeah, it's like the combination of lawnmowers and construction is just so bad. <laughs> okay, not hearing any background noise. Looks good. It's just that I have to, I have to make sure my microphone is actually picking up my voice properly. Also, it is still quiet. So, uh, nyandi. Maybe I'll just raise the gain on OBS. Maybe this is the way to go. Who knows? Yeah, I feel like now that it's like the summertime-ish The neighbors are all like, Oh! It's time! It's time for my yearly... Yearly, uh, reno ho house renovations <laughs> And they just call out all the, you know... All their, um... Whatchamacallit... All their... Their trucks and all kinds of stuff <laughs> Uh, you know... I'm glad that my house doesn't have that much renovating to do But... I feel like... I would just live with how things are right now I feel like unless I'm like selling the house or anything, right? Like there's no need for me to really renovate, so... Yeah... <laughs> oh yeah, I have to eat my lunch, brunch before stream. I, I was gonna eat before the stream, but then I took a shower instead. Cause it was so hot. <laughs> yeah. I mean regular house maintenance is different from um like renovations where it requires like actual, you know vehicles and stuff to carry stuff over and loud noises. Hammers, etc. Yeah. Maintaining a house is just a pain. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and, and the and the, uh, the, the the friend I talked about on Twitter, the one who uh, has to hide a one meter tall plushie. Yeah, she she has to uh, somehow hide it in order to have some uh, house maintenance slash inspection going on. So. <laughs> That's one problem. You know, I I, po I posted that tweet and then afterwards I was like, wait, this would make such a great YouTube video. <laughs> this would make a great YouTube video. If I will actually go through with it or not, not sure. But <laughs> there were some interesting answers um, from from you guys. So. <laughs> Um, I gave up hiding that stuff when the workers came in. The thing is, I would leave it. I mean, the friend would leave it. However, it seems friend in question is A, the only one in the entire world who owns that giant plushie. Two, it looks quite interesting enough that even a normal person would take interest in it. Because usually there is not a giant plushie in someone's house like that. Um, you know. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 
I'll have to think of something. <laughs> it stands out a little more. You know, KDTD used to be easier to hide, just stuff it in a closet. But, um, <laughs> that thing. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, interesting. And the thing is, I can't just shove it in a guest bedroom or anything. Because I'm having. Like, the entire house, like, inspected to make sure there's nothing, like, you know, wrong that it's gonna blow up or anything. So, I can't hide it in a normal room. And that thing does not fit in a closet. <laughs> so, I feel like... I mean, I mean, my friend, yeah, yeah, it doesn't fit in a friend's house anywhere except for where it is. And, um... I, I'm thinking of just like putting like a giant blanket or a tarp over it or something. I just hope it doesn't look that. I mean, I, I hope that it doesn't look suspicious for a friend. Yes. All <laughs> uh. <gasps> I have left is to write the provisional exam in October. <gasps> Congrats! I'm sure you'll study very well. You'll ace the test. You know? Top of the class. I expect lots from many tacos in the world, okay? <laughs> Which Subway cookies do you like the most? Um, it's... What should I say? They don't have it anymore. It was like a limited time thing. Um, it, it used to be the white chocolate cranberry ch cookies. They don't have it much, though. They never have it anymore. Honestly, they, they need to come back with that limited flavor. <laughs> Honestly, they, they need to add that into the regular, you know... Regular... Um, menu. Why not take it to Mamani's for now? Did I tell you about how much struggle that thing is? <laughs> to carry between houses. <laughs> it's not an easy, you know, toss it in the back of your car and, you know, take it elsewhere. That thing is massive. I'm telling you, massive. And you know why it's massive? Because it's a meter, like more than a meter tall. And you know what? And then you know what? It's heavy. It's stuffed to the brim. I punch it and my, my fist hurts. It's packed. <laughs> it's heavy. It's big. It's irregularly shaped. It does not fit in the whole <laughs> It was a struggle of three people trying to get it up the stairs and into where it is right now. That thing is not leaving this house. <laughs> the Giga Taco is like a rock. <laughs> if KDTD was as squishy and punchable, this Giga Giga Kuso Giga Deka Takurachi is not. <laughs> it's total opposite. It's bigger. It's more. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tank, okay? If, if, like, if, like, I had a party of, you know, fantasy party of RPG, you know, that, that thing is a tank. <laughs> And the KDTD is, I think it's a support. Probably. <laughs> oh, hi, Ina. It's my appreciation. I'm in the hospital now on the way to recovery. But while I was in the past, uh, while I was in this past week, your streams gave me a reason to smell every day. Your bright smell, the little laughs, all of it helped keep my spirits up. Thank you. No, thank you. I hope you have a speedy and very 
very good recovery. Um, and and thanks for thanks for you know watching me even though you're you're um, going through a tough time you know yeah. <laughs> Um, did I try throwing the Giga Takodachi? Do you think I can lift it? Throwing it implies I have to lift it. I can't lift it on my own. <laughs> Why am I eating? Subway. <laughs> I think the subway menu changed a bit, so they don't really have the old menu like the regular menu they used to have. I don't know. So I keep ordering their tuna sandwich because that that thing never changes. <laughs> How old is it? It was delivered like very recently. <laughs> As it would end today. <laughs> um. You know, they say that Crony brought the subway boom to whole life. But I gotta tell you, I've been talking about subway even before he built. I even gave you guys a recommended menu, okay? Of subway. Cool. Actually, although like I said, I was just a regular, regular enjoyer until, until she showed up and blended it. <laughs> uh, I just like my normally, you know, not in liquid form. <laughs> Well, you gotta think about it. If you blend it and then eat it, it's basically the same as... ...it ending up in your stomach. You just... You just forego the, um, chewing part. <laughs> it's all the same in your stomach. Um... <laughs> See, if you think about it this way You have one person Test subject A Who eats the sandwich normally Test subject B Who drinks Who drinks their blended Blended sub a, a, a few minutes later, you check, open up their stomach, and you check the contents. It's gonna be exactly the same, okay? Hmm. Why am I trying to convince you guys? Did you not remember the purpose of me being here? <laughs> let's, let's go back to uh, Ina's Ina's description. <laughs>
Exactly. So now the lure is a fort. What do you mean? I gotta say, I've been like one of the closest person, one of the one of the members who stayed true to their to their lore for the longest time since debut. <laughs> Why do you think I tell all those puns all this time, huh? <laughs> You just got you guys just have your your shiny dropped so low over the years that you guys are like <laughs> enough Ina you're telling puns again but no actually have you checked your have you checked your sanity points recently <laughs> I didn't say how I was gonna you know bring checks into you know this, but it worked. <laughs> I must consult with the ancient ones. <laughs> mm. I gotta say, though, um, you guys, I, I don't think anyone has really sad or noticed, but you know, the Nino my family is the one who has, you know, many years of uh, being the bridge between the ancient ones and humanity. Why are we having a lore talk right now in the middle of eating brunch? <laughs> no one has really said other than, oh, Ina's, Ina's family name, you know my, it's just a pun, because two becomes before one. Has no one realized, you know, ancient one? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> ancient ones, one, one, you know. The one that comes before two one. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's creating Dark Souls lore for us right now. <laughs> it's funny, but I don't know if you guys remember, like, the very, very... Very, very early stream. It was like, I feel like it was even like a couple weeks or something after debut or something. I wasn't sure what to call Mama Nisa on stream. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was like... I was eating hot noodles or something. I forget. So I didn't know how to call Mama Nisa. So I called her the ancient one. <laughs> when she brought me hot water. For my cup noodles. And then afterwards... I got bong. She was like, "How dare you call me ancient?" <laughs> so yeah, oh, she she was not the 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 outchan. She was Mama Nis. I just didn't know what to call her. <laughs> He's like, how dare you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got Yokuma for that? <laughs> I don't know, you know the little like random shorts idea I had about the little the little derpy Ina. I don't know what to call the title. It'll be like Yuruina Mendoina. Maybe I'll use both. Yuruina Mendoina. <laughs> Shirt with the console, you know, basically. <laughs> Yuru Ina is always Mendo Ina, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Funny to end like each episode with like a variation of the something something Ina. <laughs> so one episode will be like I guess for example like a taco goes on an adventure outside, they like roll through the mud, climb mountains, you know, roll through the 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 food aisle, etc. They come back, they're like Ina, I had an adventure. And then the, the derpy Ina would be like... Kusta Ina... And then that's how it ends. <laughs> that's a- that's a theme. <laughs> hmm. How do you tell the Ina's apart? They all look different. <laughs> A little bit. Hmm. <laughs> this punching of the Takurachi? Is it violence? No, I mean, um... No. Oh. It's... It's just the... It's just the... Uh, stream violet. It's not not violent, violet. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I should start the game soon, though. <laughs> We're reaching our 30 minute mark. Okay, I shall take another bite as a reward for clearing something. <laughs> Flies, you know, I thought about it. Crony should have like a Crony should be like a steel flying type Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I think it's YouTube. YouTube pick up it. Oh no, it looks fine on my end. How come every time you guys say it's like circle loading, it's like never. Skipping on my end. Honestly though, I gotta be thankful. I gotta be thankful that um, it's not on my end. Because if it was, I would be having so much more headaches right now. <laughs> We're back. Okay. 
See, YouTube is telling me, Ina, you gotta play the game now. It's been 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, did I actually bite into the internet cables instead of the sub subway sandwich? Oh no. Oh no, what will I ever do? <laughs> huh. Oh! That was my tissue box. <laughs> okay. Well, um, last time we left off in our adventures in Hyrule. It's, um, you know, we got, we got the start. It was a tissue box, yes. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we got the pointy stick. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Are my eyes okay from yesterday? Yeah, um, uh, oh yeah, those of you guys didn't know. <clears throat> I've been going to the eye doctor just to get checkups and stuff. I got, like, a really detailed, in-depth eye exam, like, next week that, like, checks for all the, you know, all the eye pressure and all kinds of stuff, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I had one, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's where they do all the scanning of your of your eyes and they're like, Okay, there's scratches on your eye and whatnot. Got the sneezles. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about Crony being a steel flying type. Cause time we always say time flies. She has to be a flying type. <laughs> Allergies also like I gotta say, ever since I got the air purifier slash fan slash humidifier, I've been sneezing a lot less, so I think it's helping. <laughs> yeah, I think I think steel flying is Crony's type because she always flies. But anyways, last time, um, yeah, we we um got the sword. Look at it. Look at my sword. Isn't it cool? <laughs> Is the game too loud? I did try adjusting it. So what are the plans today? Um... I wanted to ask chat... Can I get the shield? <laughs> I don't know where the shield is. I don't even know where I need to look. Okay. Wait, it was 17 for the weapon stash. I can? Okay. It's inside the castle! Uh, uh, maybe that's for another time. <laughs> but first, but first, but first. We gotta... We have four. We have four blessings. What is that? What does it mean? Oh, it's just a plant on a tree. Okay. Um... We gotta save the world, but we also gotta find more shrines. Cause... We got a lot more shrines. From last time, we have two more shrines here. We haven't gone. We already have four, so might as well go and, um... Upgrade... Our hearts again. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do today. Should I sidetrack or should I finish the story? Or try to finish the story? At least get all the memories today, maybe. I feel like I can get all the memories today, at least. DLC? I don't know if I have the DLC or not. Come <laughs> on. 
Yeah, but I think we'll aim to get the memories today. And at the later... Later Breath of the Wild stream this week... We will, um... Oh wait, we only got three! Oh! I thought I had four. Oh yeah, I didn't get the last one, cause you, I was like, oh yeah, you guys are gonna... Sorry, sorry, Paya. <laughs> you guys are gonna tell me to go get the Master Sword. But now that I have the sword, I can finish this chair. Also, you guys have been telling me to try doing this. So I was curious. Modest Alfred is quite unbecoming of a hero like you. Please cover yourself up this instant. Oh. But. You talk to me fine when I wear this. You know. But okay. Anyways. I thought I thought she was gonna like run away or something, but that's a very normal normal reaction. <laughs> okay, so let us head over to the shrines that we have not done yet. Which are these two. So that'll get me at least one more heart. And then we have regions we haven't uh Ventured into yet. Like that place where it was like flaming, or I guess there was smoke coming out down south. We have to find the last fairy fountain, that's true. Okay. Wait, we haven't done this one yet, right? Okay. And we gotta go get another another uh, horn for the champion's tunic upgrade. The perfect dodge doesn't exist for me. <laughs> oh oh. That's a that's a rock. It's jumping. Stall the flight. I'm guessing I'll have to use stasis. <gasps> oh. Ah. Okay, it seems like a very simple concept. Oh, okay, okay, I think I got it. Wait, why doesn't... Oh, it doesn't let me... It doesn't let me go into bullet time! If I can do this... Naruhodo? I was overthinking it again. What is the... Oh! Okay, I got it, I got it. I don't have a bow equipped... Oh, it's because I threw it off! Or... Unequipped it for the, uh... For the... For the cutscene. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty straightforward shrine. There's only one chest. Will I get it in time? Aha! Okay, seems like standing at the bottom gives me damage, but not at the top. I don't understand this physics. <laughs> okay, we gotta stay sustained. It's a soft rock. <laughs> the damage was the drop. But why does it... Does that not also should also apply to me being on the rock? 
Because technically, we got to think physics here. I don't know if I passed physics in high school anymore. Or university. Okay, okay, hold on. We got to think. Can, can I add this window capture? Paint. Okay, important. I gotta think. I'll rename this paint. Rename paint. Okay, there we go. We have Microsoft Paint. Okay, so... Physics! <laughs> physics experts, I need your help to understand this. So... With physics, you always need a great diagram. That's what my physics teacher always told me. Draw a diagram when you don't understand. Okay. So. We have this ground. Okay. That's gonna push up. Oh, change color. Okay, push up. It's gonna accelerate this rock. Rock. We'll name this rock. Free body diagram, exactly. Here's Link. Uh, gotta draw the master sword. Okay. So when it launches, and it gets off the floor, like, this is after it gets launched, right? Like that. So, so Rock and Link. Not Zelda. Put it in circle. Okay. Um. <laughs> Very, very important. So when, 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 when the rock is launched, Link and Rock launch, okay, launched. There's an N, lo launched. Rock. Uh, what's speed? What's the what's the what's the symbol for speed again? Was it V? Velocity? V of rock equals V of link. Right? Um How, and then the acceleration caused by by the rock. This is acceleration. Acceleration caused by platform. Uh huh. So. It'll accelerate rock and link at the same time, right? So acceleration of rock equals acceleration of link. Okay, but the mass, mass of rock does not equal mass of link. Okay. Uh, 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 where was I going with this? <laughs> the gra gravity, acceleration due to gravity is the same, right? Okay, okay. 
I'm trying to remember how to do physics here. Ina's painting throw is great. <laughs> Thank you, Papa Paco. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember high school physics. <laughs> Keep cooking, okay. So what I'm saying is that the height so the force that's pushing up this platform, right? What my brain is telling me is that is that this rock will travel less into the air. The height Okay, let me use blue. Blue is always good. The height at which it will launch let's say H1 will be different for the for the height which link will be launched. That's my theory. H2. Right? <laughs> because these two have different masses. Okay? And the question is, is actually H2 minus H1? Question mark. And the real question I have is, why does this... I guess that makes sense, because this would actually, definitely, um, hold on. Um, hold on, let's do an H, H, uh, 3. There's an H3, which is the height link will be launched. I don't know what, what it'll be, so I'll just, I'll just put a, a dotted line. H3, which is the height link would travel if we started from the bottom and was launched up. Yes. Master Sword. What what's important here I guess is the fact that uh that uh where's the where's the mark? Okay, so this right here is H2 minus H1 and this is H3 what's important is that H2 minus 1 is less than H3 uh, therefore therefore Link will not take damage by being on the rock is, is my is my calculations. <laughs> what one brain cell? Yes. The brain cell hearts? No, 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 no. Is this for preparation before a collab with the genius? Exactly. I gotta be smarter. I'm representing whole life here, okay? Whole life English. I gotta sound smarter. <laughs> um, therefore, when when uh, H two, H one, H three does not equal each other. No, 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 no. H two is the height where Link travels along with the rock. And then H1 is the height, the maximum height that the rock reaches. And then H3 is when Link stands, it's like a hypothetical height where Link stands on the platform and is launched into the air. That's not how physics works. They have the same initial velocity when they launch as they reach the same peak. <laughs> no! It can't be! <laughs> I don't want to define physics! Wait, so if they reach the same height... But wouldn't they... Wouldn't they... Wouldn't they fall to the ground? Wait, but the, wasn't there like a... 
Uh, 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 physics, the lake rock system will have kinetic energy when the rock hits the ground. Yeah. Uh, 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 at the same rate of speed, exactly. Because there was that, 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 that experiment where they dropped the small ball and then giant ball and they, would, or they landed at the same time. But they dropped at the same height. Uh, I don't remember physics. But then there is air resistance. The rock has more air resistance than like therefore it will technically drop slower. That means that like it technically will still stand on the rock and and the, the, the but that it has it has more mass but Air resistance is negligible for this object at low speeds. In the real system, when hitting the ground will accelerate to the fall to a halt there because of crushing force. Like when you have different weights outside a vacuum, they have different accelerations due to gravity making the rock fall faster and length to be slower. No, but I must understand. Why does the rock... not... <laughs> Why does it... Weight doesn't matter, it's the shape that I'm packed for. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just physics. I'm gonna have to go to high school again. <laughs> Because when an object is hit by a car, heavy items travel less distance. Huh. Well, uh, uh, I guess, uh, you go back to the game. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking here, not like in, in the game sense, but I wanna, like, I wanna think about if that happened in real life, if something launched. A rock, because that's exactly what physics problems it is like on your exams. It'll be like, a person was launched, or a person, aka Hyrulean hero, Hy Hyrulean champion, was launched into the air along with a giant rock from a platform. Will, and, and Hyrulean champion takes damage if height that he hits the ground is greater than something, some value. If the if the rock was launched at x initial velocity whatever will link take damage <laughs> that's exactly what your exam question is gonna look like okay <laughs> physics tackles please some somewhere on Twitter, something. Hashtag taco time. You gotta solve this problem for us. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure we have a physics major in the chat or somewhere. In Eclipse. Please. I must know. If if assuming that the gravity and the 
The, the atmosphere, etc. is exactly the same as Earth. What? Like, imagine if it's the same. Okay, how about we measure the... The, uh... The, 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 the velocity at which it launches. Because if that... Uh, okay, what's the equation for velocity? <laughs> velocity e formula. Okay, we're doing some... We're doing some math here. Okay. Return to Microsoft Paint. Important. Okay. We'll, we'll save this image just in case. You guys will laugh at how, how empty my head is, but... I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Okay. Uh... 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 Okay. Uh... Velocity... Is distance over time. Velocity... It's this, right? Equals... Distance... Over time. Dx dt... Dx dt... Or do, do, do we do... Was it... Is the change in distance of a change in time, which is d2 minus d1 over t2 minus t1, in which... In which, uh... Uh, t1 is zero. So it's d2 minus d1 over t2. Distance 1 is 0, 2, actually. No, distance 1 is 0. Because it starts from 0 and goes somewhere. Okay. It's basically d2 over d t2. Yeah? Which is d over t. <laughs> so... If we, if we take a... If we take a time stop, time, time stop, time, stopwatch. Okay. And we measure the time it takes for it to launch. Basically, like 0.25 seconds. That was the very rough estimate. So, um, 0.25 seconds. Okay. <laughs> and the distance. Uh, where is my ruler? Ah, there's my ruler. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna use. Uh, uh, how am I, how am I gonna... Wait, if I stasis this, will it stop it from launching? Oh, it does! Ah, it does not! Wait, I can take a screenshot! Okay, screenshot, screenshot, screenshot! Okay, oh, there's another screenshot! Screenshot! Okay, screenshot. There we go. Okay, we're gonna base it on this screenshot. I'm gonna take damage. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Excellent gameplay. Thank you. Okay. So. Uh. Uh. This is just a hypothetical length. Okay. We're just. Using some sort of distance length. Yeah. All you can see is the math. Good. Because that's all you should be thinking about right now. Wait. 
Why did it capture as an MP4? Stop! as an mp4 for some reason <laughs> that's very suspicious okay okay link is f oh yeah we have the height of link Okay, how tall... How tall is Link Breath of the Wild? 5'2 Okay Okay, so that's like... 1, 2... That's basically like 3... Let's say it's like three three links tall. <laughs> What's five two in centimeters? Five two in centimeters. One fifty seven. One fifty seven times three. Four seventy one. So four point seven one meters. So, so link equals five two, which is around wiggly wiggly uh, one fifty seven centimeters. So if plat launch platform platform travels. So, D2 is around three links tall, which is around 471 centimeters, which is 4.71 meters. Okay, wait! Am I the same height as Link with my shoes on? <gasps> Me no my not this height. <gasps> what? I'm Link. <laughs> I'm basically Haruli champion. <sighs> See, we wouldn't have realized this fact. Without going through this today. <laughs> Googling your height. Do you... Remember how tall you are all the time? I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. Which is why I think like... um, What's it? Like, when I'm performing with UMI-C, right? Like, we have all, the, all of the shorter members in UMI-C. And if I'm in my default outfit... I'm like... Towering over them. <laughs> but then if I'm in my idol outfit, it, it, it fits a little better. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we gotta return to this. So... Four, uh, four point seven one. We're thinking meters per second. This is, this is seconds, and this is meters. Okay, right? <clears throat> so, using my trusty, trusty phone calculator, it's gonna be. 4.71 divided by 0.25 which means the initial 
velocity which the rock and Link is launched in is 18.84 meters per second. Okay. <sighs> okay. We got somewhere. So. So there's... So I put these like sticky... Nose pads. Okay, wait. I gotta put on my smart glasses. <laughs> I gotta put on my... My... <clears throat> my studying glasses. So I put these like nose pads on my glasses. But the heat has melted the sticky part off. <laughs> now it's just a disgusting mess of stickiness. I gotta take them out. Yeah, it's so gooey. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. It's a shame though. I wish I can just like permanently attach these, but the heat is melting me. <laughs> I need to go get, like, the rubbing alcohol and get rid of this, but do that after. Ugh, it's gooey. That's the bad thing about, like, stickers and stuff. Especially, like, the, uh, like, the, the acoustic foam on my wall. In the summer, it just plops down, because the, um, whatchamacallit. Does the sticky thing just melts? It's that hot. <laughs> yeah, the adhesive just melts off, melts off the wall. Quite unfortunate. <laughs> Even with AC, I told you guys the office room gets quite hot. So, anyways, back to <clears throat> back to trying to be smart. Okay, so both, we can assume... Okay, let's draw the diagram here. Bottom right, okay. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta hang in, Papa Paco. We're, we're having a very important physics lesson here. Okay. So, the... Initial velocity, let's say V1. It's at which the, uh... Which the platform launches... The, uh... The rock... And Link. Okay? So... The velocity of... The rock and Link is the same. And... So... We gotta figure out... The distance in which they travel, right? And we can derive that from the uh 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 velocity times time. Right? 18 meters per second, I have to get the orbit. <laughs> is this right? This is the right equation, right? Derived from this one? Right here? So this distance... X actually not this one. It's the distance in which let's say let's say uh let's just, this is A This is B The so distance Right? This is the distance which the which the platform travels to figure out the the uh, distance that travels, and then distance B is where 
how how high they travel, but there's acceleration. Cause cause the velocity at the top, hold on. Maybe you gotta return return to the drawing board. Cause their initial vol <laughs> Watch as I check Twitter and someone already figured it out, probably. <laughs> Okay, so velocity when they're at the ground is the same as velocity of this pushing up, but the very top, the velocity here is zero. Uh, acceleration formula. Acceleration formula is uh, a equals v. F minus V I over time. But then G is minus nine point eight one meters per second. <laughs> He only found the average velocity you should be using V2 equals V... V02 plus 2AX... X equals 4.71... Squared... <laughs> okay... I made a basic error. Velocity doesn't matter. The acceleration matters. Okay. If the acceleration changes quickly... Okay, okay, okay. A is final velocity minus initial vol <laughs> velocity squared. Do I have? Hold on. Hold on, I gotta put on my smart, smart glasses. Surely I have it ready, okay. Oh, I do. Perfect. <laughs> Let me attach this to my face. Wait, why is it not working? Okay. Uh Nope, okay, uh Uh I got this, I got this, okay Let me move this around this okay. Ah, perfect, okay! How much do they weigh? That's the question. Okay, um... <laughs> I used to be able to solve this. I feel so dumb now. How did I pass school? <laughs> Two pairs of glasses. I know. I know. <laughs> Weight doesn't matter. Okay. So how... How do we calculate... The height at which... Uh, I forgot why we were doing this. <laughs> Is this the cover of the puzzle? Is she asking to do the cover? I'm trying to do the calculations, okay? I'm trying to remember fundamental... The fundamental physics from high school, which I forgot. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I, I'm checking my Twitter tag right now. This is not cheating. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, but Link is launched at some velocity V and will reach the same apex regardless of whether or not he is on the rock. 
From here, he will accelerate until he hits the ground at... Okay. You want to measure height starting and ending from the same point. So the height length travels doesn't change depending on whether he's on the rock. Okay, okay, okay. When Link is at the peak of his launch, which you can find via S equals V initial squared, V final squared over 2A. Find the force Link will be landing at. Okay, okay. Oh, so technically... We shouldn't worry about him being launched to the air. We should worry about him falling. That... We were... We were wrong from the start. We didn't have to worry about at which speed he was launched. We had to worry about... How he's falling. Okay, we were... We were wrong from the very beginning. Okay, we restart. Restart. Okay. We... <laughs> it, you guys are separating yourself from me now that you... You notice how... 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 How much my brain cell is lacking? Is that what it is? <laughs> You're just like... Oh, I don't want to associate myself with this... As this VTuber who doesn't know basic physics. <laughs> Okay, restarting, restarting our 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 problem. <sighs> okay, so we have case one, which is Link being on rock. Can't forget Master Sword. Okay, now we have case two, which is Link gets yoinked into the sky. Oh, why is this Link bigger? Okay, let me just copy paste. Wow, magic. Okay. And there's this Link. <laughs> When Link reaches the top, he will accelerate towards towards the ground. And G equals minus nine point eight one meters per second squared. Uh, uh, we're assuming that the acceleration due to gravity is the same in Hyrule as it is in Earth. Okay? We're assuming that because this game was made on Earth. I hope. I think. <laughs> we're just assuming at this point. So from this diagram... Right... Okay... Shouldn't Link also be feeling... Damage... From the fall... Of situation 1... As well as situation 2... Yes. Okay, no, no, no. I, I know, I know that game physics is different, but I'm just trying to figure out. Will they feel a different force between the two? <laughs> Why 
gonna experiment and try it out. But we did try it out. That's what caused this to happen in the first place. <laughs> Your time in the air is longer when launched from the ground, which means more fall damage. Okay, if we just isolate Link, right? In these two situations. Let me erase this thread. Okay. Wait, I can just use this. Link was already isolated for a hundred years. He can wait another two years. Okay. That's, that's enough time for me to remember how to normally fuzzy. Oh, wait, why am I not copy pasting this? It's elementary. <gasps> okay. So technically, a situation... One, he travels a distance... Or... Of what? And here... Travels... A longer distance. Right? Okay. Therefore, we can assume... That the time... In number two doesn't go that high. Oh. Well, we can test it out here. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh, have it against the wall here so we can tell. Okay, how high does he go? Okay, it goes up to up to like up to like right on the end of that thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, he definitely goes higher on the rock. Oh, can't see? Oh. <laughs> I know how to stream. Okay, so... Hold on. Like this one, I go like way above the gate. Which is right. Okay? For this one, I like reach... Around... The foot... Oh, I, I hit my head on the lamp. <laughs> like right... Right? Underneath the gate. So technically, it's uh, it's less than that. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Therefore, he he does not travel as as high. Okay. Under understand. Him. So maybe around here. But doesn't change the fact that the distance he travels when he's on the rock is much less than. When he's not on the rock. C correct? The difference is the height of the rock. Oh. The difference is just the height of the rock. Difference is the height of the rock. So, so the distance they travel is the same. <laughs> difference is same. Acceleration is the same. Starting position is different. Oh wait! I just, I just, I just remembered. Okay. Wait, no. I can't think. Ina, think! How did I. How did I pass school? I have 
have to understand it or I don't think I can continue the game. I'm sorry. It's just the type of person I am. Okay. Um, honestly, I, I replaced all my math and physics part of the brain with drawing. And various 3D programs and all kinds of other stuff. Streaming stuff. <laughs> what is left to understand? <sighs> so we're... we're... Okay, so in the end... In the end, okay? Wait, did I just... Did I just... Okay, so... So theory, theory, theory. Okay. Back to... Back to pink. Theory. One. Link. Takes... Damage depending on uh, distance of his foot at the bar of distance of I guess Link, in general. And... Uh, object... Slash... Floor. And, and speed. Number two... Okay, let's let's draw the two situations. Okay, situation A is the one with the rock. Situation B is one where it's only me. Situation A Link Does not Take damage Because What's most important? Speed is not as important. Okay. S uh, number two. Speed... At which... Link hits... Object... Is secondary... I'm thinking in the game sense right now. Secondary to rather or not. There is great distance. Okay, uh is there a lasso to oh there is. Oh, oh, oh. Distance, great enough distance. Between Link and Object Slash Floor. Okay. In situation A, Link does not take damage because there uh, because the rock is launched at 
same velocity as Link. Therefore, in the end, the game is not. Oh wait, uh wait, I forgot something. Um Link. And also drops and also drop oops. I can't write with my mouse. Drops at the same rate. Therefore The game does not consider there to be. Hold on, I want to check something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There to be distance between rock and link. AKA Link does not take damage at the bottom. Okay. In situation B, Asian B. Link is launched into the air and drops a significant distance. Until he hits the floor. As the game considers the uh, floor to have considerable distance I need I need more space <laughs> or a okay, considerable distance between link and object uh Floor. He takes damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. There, there's page one. Let me, let me write page two. <clears throat> Therefore, number three. Wait, hold on. Okay, it was circled. Number three. Therefore, we can assume uh, that Link will. Take fall damage. Da uh, damage when when uh, <laughs> there is at 
priest. A notable distance between Link and the quote unquote object in question. <laughs> and then as a as a side thing in the case the case of A the surface of the rock the rock is the classified object and uh, uh, whereas in the case of B Platforms surface is considered an object. Huh. Because the game considers Link to be on the rock, and he doesn't stray from the rock. He is not considered to be jumping or, you know, getting off the floor in order to take damage. Right. <laughs> However, in the case too. The, the thing he's colliding against is the floor, which means there's a great distance he falls. Therefore... Hit him. Uh, in conclusion... In, in, in conclusion and in theory... Conclusion and in theory, which I personally have not tested out yet, I'm sure you guys have, whoever has played Breath of the Wild. If Link is able To stand on an object that stands still. Okay. Stand still on Object is fate must be a team that object he uh Stand still on an object that is falling from
from a lethal. Hi. He should take little to no damage to no damage. Yeah? It's a it's a it's a it's a good hypothesis, right? In this... in this case... An object... That... Is... Under... Stasis... Stasis... And... Or is traveling at same speed as my writing is this bad because I'm writing with my mouse, okay? <laughs> My real writing is a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys have seen my writing. <laughs> it's not bad for using a mouse and it's it's Microsoft Paint. Okay. Do you guys note this all down? <laughs> I answered the question like a page. I know, I answered the question, but we have to organize it in a very intellectual manner. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let's see if my, uh... My notes look great. Okay, so in total... Number one, Link takes damage depending on the distance of Link and the object... Slash floor... Slash speed... Between... Yeah. That, that's... When he takes damage, fall damage. The speed at which Link hits the object is not as important as if there is distance between Link and object. Yes. Number two. In situation A, Link does not take damage because the rock is being launched at the same velocity as Link and drops at the same rate. Therefore, the game does not consider there to be distance between rock and Link. So he does not take damage at the bottom. Uh, in situation B, Link is launched into the air and drops a significant distance until he hits the floor, aka the object. As the game considers uh, there to the floor to be, you know, far away from Link, he takes the damage, the fall damage. Uh huh. Therefore. We can assume that Link will take fall damage when there is at least a notable distance between Link and the object in question. In case of A, the surface of the rock is considered the object, whereas in course B, the platform surface is considered the object Link collides with. Therefore, in conclusion and in theory, if Link is able to stand still on an object, as his body or his feet is touching the object that is falling from a lethal height and there is no distance between that object and Link, he should take little to no damage. In this case, the object that is under... Uh, I guess... Under... What's that word? <laughs> what did I write? 
I can't read my own writing. In this... In the... Case? In, in, in that case? In this case... Uh... An object that is... Okay. In this case... Can ob... An object... That is under stasis... And or is traveling... At... The... Same speed as Link would also work. Yes. <laughs> okay. My curiosity has been sated. However, I do want to, uh, I do want to test it out. <laughs> You know, we're gonna prove our hypothesis. That's the scientific method. <laughs> that is indeed the scientific method. But before that, we gotta... We gotta stay sisters and get out of this... Get out of this shrine. <laughs> Phenomenal, thank you. Yes. Not in real life. In the game. In the game, of course. <laughs> uh, okay. I got I got the jingle. I'm out of here. Ah. <sighs> I feel somewhat satisfied at this. At this. Uh, yeah. At this conclusion. Where can we test this? I think we can test this in Kakariko Village. Because that's where... That's where everything happens. Right? <laughs> Tuition for introduction to adventuring physics with Dr. Oopsie. <laughs> Please don't tell anyone that you took this course and tell... Like, if, if, if you're like... If you, say, if you state that you're like a physics master and you say that you took Dr. Oops... Don't, don't, don't say you took Dr. Oopsie's course. <laughs> We're free! <laughs> I thought I was onto something when I was thinking about physics and acceleration and stuff. But... We did biology next shrine. Uh... I didn't take biology in high school. <laughs> so I can't help you there. Okay. Uh, Alright, this is this is a high enough spot where if I fly off, I will take damage, right? So if I technically chop down this tree... Do I have an axe? I don't have an axe. Okay, I'll just use a cleaver. Okay, right? We have a log. Okay. Oh yeah, we sh I should save the game. I haven't saved it in a while. I got distracted by physics. The world of physics. Okay, so technically... If I am able... To write this log... Down, or fly, I guess. I won't take damage. I forgot I was bad at... Bad at video games. <laughs> I forgot one thing. Was bad at video games. The tree was still... Oh. Okay, you know what? Actually, actually... No! No! And why is my 
my sword! Tara, job. It's the wrong side, I know. Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is it. This is it. <sighs> Sorry, I was late two hours with the miss. Not much. <laughs> that didn't work as planned. Okay, real. <laughs> I should hit it a couple more times. You missed a single shrine. <laughs> it kind of worked, but there was no fall damage, so... Uh... But I would've... I would've taken damage if... No, but I didn't take damage there because I was... Not falling from a big height. Uh... Twice would be a good, right? <laughs> well, physics. <laughs> There's a trunk in front of the tree. Of course, it won't fly. <laughs> or the stump, rather. The stream is so cursed. It's not! It's content. It's like nothing you have seen before. Okay, I'll, I'll move it slightly to the right. Surely, surely this... Oh. Uh. Yeah, I was stumped. Okay. Okay, surely this is fine. Okay, and to test that I will take damage. <laughs> Otherwise. Okay. Now we gotta jump. <laughs> I should I should have tested this before, but you know. For science. Okay, so to reach the same height ish, I might have to use bird bro. Okay, so I landed around right there. I'll drop from around the same height as that. Okay. And right about now! <gasps> so my theory is true! We will take damage if I fell from that height. However, the tree prevented it. Game physics. Okay, now I now I load. My <laughs> <laughs> now I can go to the second shrine. Actually, while we're here, we might as well get our upgrade. <laughs> Science in high roll, of course. Not in real life. Don't try this in real life because you're gonna take fall damage. But high roll physics, it worked. Victory. Yes. <laughs> it just works. There's no stasis in real life. <laughs> it's exactly just like the um the question people ask. It's like if you jump at the bottom, like let's say you're in a falling elevator, and if you jump, 
at the last minute, will you not take fall damage? It's like, no, that's not how it works because you need to be able to jump and launch yourself at a force that's so great <laughs> to cancel the falling the falling speed to counteract the speed that it, it, it will work. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, this other shrine is like a super, 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 super long shrine, right? Yeah, so it's probably... What was it? There was like... I, I know I watched those videos where it's like, you should probably, like, um, be in a position where the shock from dropping to the floor will, like, not destroy all your vital organs and stuff. I forgot what, what like, position you had to be in, but don't, don't trust me on this, you should go watch, watch the safety video on that. <laughs> I forget if you had to like be lying on the floor like completely or if you had to be like crouched in a certain position or something. Yeah. I forget. <laughs> it's one or the other. Okay, so um it, uh right, we got a yeah. This is fluid dynamics. <laughs> Ooh, ah! This thing is scary. Okay. Uh, you have to protect your spine, exactly. And I guess your heart and stuff. Wait, we got the chest, but we need to get that fire and then light that thing. That's the thing in the middle. Right, we gotta put on a bow for that. Uh... I should carry, like, a not-so-good bow. And... Should probably put on a shield. And... Okay, I should be okay. <sighs> I think I can just shoot it. It should be a pretty simple one. We got this chest that we got out of here. I mean, we could technically use a torch, but that's no fun. Can we do thermodynamics? Uh... Oh, there is a torch. <laughs> but I have all these good weapons! I don't wanna... I don't wanna waste my good weapons. I'm just gonna... Easy. See? This is, uh, projectiles. Projectiles lesson. <laughs> it's, the, it's the parabola of projectiles and whatnot. Can I save? Oh yeah, doesn't really matter if I save, huh? Oh, we have to shoot that too, huh? Okay. Precision. Honestly. Oh, so we gotta go there and then shoot that. Do I remember the equation for the parabola? Uh, you think I do? I had to Google the formula for acceleration and velocity. <laughs> think I'd remember. Game mechanics. <laughs> it's not too bad. Unless they make me actually carry a torch here. Uh... <gasps> Why did you? Why? Why? 
Why? <laughs> Why? There's so many of them. Ow! Wait, hold on. Doesn't the shield reflect their beams? That's what you guys said, right? Oh, it does! Wait, that's like basically cheating! <laughs> okay, that was worth it. Giant core. Oh, so we gotta get that now. Okay. So I had to bring the... Whatchamacallit, the flame up here. Why'd they make me do this? <gasps> A great flame! <sighs> what do I have? What can I get rid of? I, I did... I did have a... F oh, I guess I can get rid of the claymore. <sighs> the great... Flame blade. Long throw? I have to chuck this up my enemies? Get the flame first. Why get the flame when I have a bow? <laughs> Where is it again? Oh. Pew! No need for the torch when I got a bow. Oh, I guess there's like three of them. <laughs> uh, how many arrows left? 44. We can stop by Beetle afterwards. Are, are these timed? I don't think these are timed, are they? Oh, they are. Oh. Oh, my arrows. Both with one arrow. Can I do that? This one is pretty, pretty straightforward. Pew! Oh, too hot. Forgot I had a good bow. Oh, now I gotta shoot. <laughs> Wait, can I just shoot those first? Will that stop the water? A little short. <gasps> what? No, my bow is damaged. Okay, that's not on fire. Okay. Okay, those two are on, but I gotta get these two, huh? Well, even if I save, I have to start from the beginning of the shrine anyways, right? I think it's the shoot two and one again. I have to make sure... ...this thing stays on fire. <gasps> My bow broke! Gotta get the time up. Oh. It's it's the zoom. No. 
Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. We're zooming, honestly. Oh, not a huddle? So we have to get... Oh, I guess I might as well move this over, right? And then shoot it with the arrow. Okay. Makes sense. Wait, can't I just... <laughs> can't I just, like, glide and land on the... ...treasure? I need the flame. Yeah... Yeah... <laughs> I mean, getting the flame back isn't the problem, but... <laughs> we can probably just glide. Okay, I gotta jump. Okay. Oh, this chest is magnetic. Maybe you have to bring it. <gasps> Hundred. Always bring metallic treasure chests. Okay. Click. And I'll just glide. Oh, I forgot to glide. <laughs> oh wait, do I still have? Okay. Oh no, the YouTube preview is lagging. Okay, I got rid of the. Uh... I got rid of the paint image. Okay, go up again? Or oh, maybe not. Okay, so. Okay, now we bring this chest. <laughs> Wait, there is. Attack me, but I'm backflipping everywhere, huh? 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 Yeah? Ow! I would like to say that was very rude of you. Yeah. That's right. We need some battle axe. Uh. I don't have much to drop. Wait, but we gotta burn this thing. Wait, maybe I should drop the sword and grab the axe. Wait, this one has attack. Oh, <gasps> plus seven. But this one has durability. Okay, what does this one is also sparkling? You know, I looked over all my weapons, and I was like, you know... Everything looks pretty good. Did I drop this? Oh, oh, that's the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't have I was like, okay, everything else has good options, or it's like elemental. And then I was like, oh, this one doesn't have any 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 options. I scrolled down to it. <laughs> oh, that's too late. Thumbnail accurate. Honestly, okay, let's see what this has. Oh, <gasps> this one has durability a plus. Oh, it's only ten though. Ah. <sighs> Okay, hold on. How about how about this one? 
Long throw. Hmm. Honestly, though, I don't really throw weapons that much. Oh. Maybe I'll just take the spear. Yeah, long throw are pretty garbage. Um, does that mean I should throw this one away? Actually, let me Emily use this, okay? Can I use this to burn? Oh, I can. Oh! What was the purpose of this? Burn enemies. Frost blade or great flame blade? Hmm. 3424. Burn the guardians? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Should I just drop this there and then take the frost blade? Drop the Yiga Sword? The Long Blade? Which one's the Yiga Sword? I don't have those. Drop the Spear. But it's like so fast! What if I want to bop like really easy enemies? The Eightfold Blade? This one. But it's attack plus seven! The Eightfold or Yiga? Oh. 22 plus 7, right? Oh, it's 22 after? Oh. It's 15 plus... What? That's how it works? Eh. That kind of sucks. That's... That's... That's mildly... What should I say? Miss... What should I say? Mm. It's like false advertisement. They should have just put 15 and then put like a, a different number or something that said, you know, plus seven. Misleading? No, no, no. Wait, there's another chest there. How did I forget? It's such a small landing spot, though. But of course, I get in no problem. <gasps> no! I gotta choose again! Forest Dweller Sword. 22 durability up. <sighs> it's the stick. It's the weapon of the Koroks. Drop one of the electric ones. I don't know which one I used more already. The spear or the sword? Oh. I need to find more Koroks for more slots. I used the sword more? Oh, actually, let's drop... Actually, yeah, let's drop the spear. Okay. Well, this is useful when I need, like, not metal weapons, you know? In the thunderstorms, because it's always, always thundering, thunderstorming in Hyrule for some reason. Some odd re Oh yeah, there's a purpose of me being here. <laughs> I was gonna... I was gonna, uh... Okay, I think I was supposed to get the torch here. Um... Ha. Huh. I mean... There must be a reason why... They gave me durability of plus, right? <laughs> there, there, 
There must be a reason it has more durability. <laughs> Have a good one, rather. Ah! Okay, I think I knew what to do. The whole swish to get all the all of them at once, or it's gonna turn off the water. Oh yeah, the one in front is probably for the uh, for the knot. You know, so that I don't have to walk all the way back here. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. What if I... Is there like a wooden arm? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Is there like a wooden armor in this game? I'm just, I'm just wondering. Okay, I gotta stand like exactly in the middle. Okay, good. I just have to do it before everything else got triggered. Okay. Okay, did I get all the chests? I did. Wow. Nothing can stop me anymore. So smart. Now give me my give me my grape. <laughs> my grape candy. Ha. <sighs> Wonderful. If there is like a wooden set though, I feel like those would be very useful for uh, fire dungeons <laughs> that require lighting things on fire. Just, just the, uh, just the imagination. Isn't there like a spirit living in the master sword? Like it has a consciousness. So bet if I try to throw it out, I'll be like, hey, you, what are you doing? Fee? Or is it Fi? Fee? Fee? Fi? Fee? Oh, my weapon is burning. Uh, <laughs> that's a thing. Uh, right. Okay, we're good. Wait, does the frost blade like melt immediately if I pull it out? Oh, it doesn't. I thought it would. Phi? Phi? Where's Y? Why is fighting the Y? Phi? Why is fighting the Phi? Where's Y? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> where to go next? We have some options. Um, if we look, if we zoom out a lot, there are many sections of the map that does not have a lot of shrines, um, including Central Hyrule, I imagine. Okay, so you know the uh, um, the uh, GeoGuessr. So one of them is definitely here, but there's gonna be a lot of guardians, I imagine. Um, and I'm guessing the other is probably like. Somewhere, somewhere around. It's like there's like this castle wall thing you gotta walk. If you if you check real quick, so it's it's lo on lower ground. And I think that's the main castle. So it's one of the one of the entrances. I think maybe getting out of the castle. Um. So lower ground. You have to be able to see the castle. So I'm guessing it's like right here, maybe. Because this is right below. There's like a octagonal thingy. And it's facing the castle. I don't know if that's the... That's like the... The one, but... Is that the entrance of the castle? Oh, it seems like... Okay, so there's like a... Uh, what's it? There's like a octagonal thing. Yeah, I think it's right here, cause there's like that that 
that uh one dude hexagon hexagon thing there's a castle and there's some kind of like wing thing it has to be like right here i feel What makes sense? Okay, so let's mark one of this... The star. I know the other one is like... Um... Right... Somewhere here, I assume. Okay. <sighs> but I wonder if it's best to save the castle for the actual... You know... Wait, have we been here? Cause that looks like a Korok, right? <laughs> <laughs> looks suspicious. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like Castle will save it for next stream. Right now, we'll we'll travel around Hyrule, the places we haven't gone to. I also should probably go get my hair tie. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh oh, there's a thunderstorm. I knew it. I knew it. But I'll be under here. I am safe. Okay, it's getting hot in my room again. <laughs> I think I'm gonna raise the fan. I, I even opened my door, but I think I have to raise the fan a little bit. Sorry if it gets loud. It's super hot. In a boiling. Okay. Phew. Um. So yeah, we basically only have the Guardian Sword and the Forest Dweller Sword that we can equip. <laughs> As for the bow, we only have the very good bow. <laughs> that we can equip. Okay. Alright, uh, oh yeah, change clothes. Back to our regularly scheduled clothes and also save Whew. anyways uh we gotta go towards that korok lake okay it's a little to my left okay. <laughs> guessing this way okay this place is scary Thunderstorms everywhere. Oh wait, I can't climb in the rain. <sighs> Man, I got a bird bro. Maybe bird bro. <laughs> yeah, bird bro. Wait, that's not a Korok. Hoodie. Maybe it's not the best time to be here. It's like a. It's like a... Oh, hello. You guys like to taste the bombs? It's definitely not a Korok, it seems. It seems more like enemy territory. Hmm. Unless there's a Korok on the tree. But I kinda don't wanna be here when it's thundering a lot. It's scary. Horses. But I guess the thunderstorm is uh stopping soon ish. Be nice to see a shrine. 
But I guess I've already gotten like all the easy shrines, right? Hmm. Maybe we should have made note of all the um all the things that uh Cass told us about. What's that? Oh, that's the castle. <sighs> Buy a house in Hateno? That's my plan after I save the world, you know? That's that's what heroes do after they save the world. They live the slow life in the countryside. But I have to go to like... Whatchamacallit? I have to go all the way to... That... That place with all the... Weird tree looking... Plant things, right? Hmm... Is there one in Lomero Mountain? The house opens a side quest. I mean, we could get started on it. That looks like a Korok. Oh no, is this another golfing one? What is this scary sound effect? I could use like three more Koroks because I need another weapon slot. Another weapon slot would be nice. We're kind of getting close to uh, close to the castle, so we gotta be careful. Oh, shrine nearby. Nani? It's probably best if I just bonk these. Okay. Oh, but the shrine is so close to the castle, I'm scared. I need like a guardian system. <laughs> I mean, I could technically... Like, set the, uh... Thingy to the guardian. And it will sense guardians for me. <laughs> Ancient armor. I mean, we can go and check out, like, if we can get some, actually. Because we have... We have some funds now. And, uh... We got a lot of parts. <laughs> you know? We, we can be kind of confident, I gotta say. Not enough... I can sell some stuff. I don't have enough arrows, honestly. <laughs> I need to go find Beetle. Beetle has all my arrows. <sighs> Hello! Welcome. Okay. Okay. So you guys told me that the shield reflects their beams, right? I can afford this. It's 70? <sighs> Guardian Resista. What does that mean? Less damage from lasers. Oh... Just save it for the armor. Hmm... 6,000? I could buy a house three times! <laughs> uh. Ancient bow is the best bow in the game. I feel like, for now, shield is probably the best investment. 
for our trip. Or two times, never mind. My math. Kid math. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I finish the game and I'm super duper rich, maybe, but... I feel like right now... The shield is probably the best investment. Ancient bow shoots a straight line. <laughs> Wait! Can you, like, farm weapons from major tests of strength? Because you can redo shrines? <gasps> oh! Once per blood moon. Oh. Narodo. So I can technically go back to any of the major ones that I've done because I haven't gone back and we had many blood moons. Narodo. Arrows also one shot guardians. I have a couple arrows. I think I have like what, like five? For some reason. I don't know where I got it from. Yeah, I have four. I don't know where I got it from, I remember, but... Yeah. Only on a headshot. I mean, technically, if I get the ancient bow and the arrow, I'll one-shot, because it fires in a straight line. <laughs> but I feel like right now, currently, shield is the way to go. <laughs> right. No room in inventory. I use this one a lot, so I'll drop this one. Okay. Invest in arrows. Wait, I'll get the shield first. Okay. Um... Can never go wrong with arrows. I mean, how many can I afford? Five. I can buy eight? Because that's 650. Uh, ancient arrows are OP. Okay, I guess I'll buy them out. Wait, but it uses my arrows! It's cheaper to buy five. Okay. Oh, I just needed 30 more. Okay, well... I might have to break my bank. Break my piggy bank. But... Let's see... Let's see if Beetle is back. <laughs> In the nearby shrine. Or not shrine. Uh, stable. Ancient Airs don't drop items if they kill anything other than Guardians. I mean, I probably won't use them against anything other than Guardians. <laughs> Beetle! Oh, Beetle! Oh. <laughs> Wait, you don't want me to buy your stuff? Oh, loves attention. Okay, what have you got? Okay, I'll take your arrows. Oh, smothering butterfly. Didn't we need that for upgrade? I feel like we needed them upgrades. Wow! But that was because of fire armor, right? Not now, should I just buy it? You know what, might as well. It takes... it takes less... you know... Less effort than catching them. <laughs> okay. Sorted inventory... <sighs> okay. Wait, what does... Which gear does diamond upgrade that I need it for? 
<laughs> Though I, I don't need it now, right? Remember the lady? But she wanted 10! <laughs> Just for diamond... For champion weapons? Uh, one armor piece and one armor set. Oh. Yeah, she wanted she wanted ten diamonds. I don't have ten diamonds. Okay. Can I sell like? I don't know. <laughs> sell half of the other gems. Okay. I mean, the other ones I can go farm, so it's it's all right. Okay, 19 divided by 2... 9? Okay. <laughs> if you need diamond, the guy in Zora will give you one for 10 luminous... Right! Wait, we gotta go finish that quest! I remember we had one. Okay. I was gonna go look for it, and then I, I forgot to finish it. <laughs> now that I have 11. Okay, and I'll sell four... Okay. Wow! And then two... <gasps> I can buy a house now! Okay, let's go... Let's go... Let's go give that... <laughs> Stones to the guy in Zora. It was a side quest, right? I think so. So I should be able to see it in the adventure log. Maybe? Zora. Oh, there's a. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Travel. <laughs> we got sidetracked from the sidetrack to get sidetracked. Oh, it's two to in and break. All oh, right, I forgot to turn on the turn on the thing. Ah, there we go. Start bouncing. We got work to do. <laughs> The guy up top? I guess so. Maybe I should have I should have turned on this uh gif while um while I was doing all that physics stuff. <laughs> Wait, where is the dude? Oh, inside here? Oh, down there, okay. What's this? Oh, oh, hello. Sorry, sorry to interrupt your uh, your uh, swimming session. Snail, snail. Uh, stone dude. Oh, he must be upstairs. Snail. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Thanks, bro. Okay. Wait, what? You're not the one who wanted the stones, right? Oh, are they way down below? Hello, my name is Nina Ma Iranis and I uh I have trouble following quest markers. <laughs> Not that below. Okay, I'll I'll just swim upwards. Okay, surely I'll see I see them here somewhere. Wait, how come the 
Does that mean we're th the quest marker change? What? Is he walking? He's walking! It's you! <laughs> Wait. Is it not you? Do I have to hold it in my hand? I have to wait? Oh. <laughs> this game! He just woke up. Oh, that was their bed? The water? Oh. He just woke up. Getting his morning coffee. You should look. You should be more like Sidon. and look. He's awake this early in the morning, okay? Oh. <laughs> oh. Just got to work. Here are the stones. Oh. Yes, I am giving you the stones. Oh. And a one! Oh. And a two! Mm. And a three! Oh. Four! Oh. Five! Oh. Six! Mm. Seven! Oh. Eight! Oh. Nine! Oh. And ten! Oh. <gasps> Yes. Oh. Give me my diamond. <gasps> what? One extra is a... <gasps> mm. <sighs> Wait, I can... I can just farm diamonds. More worth it to sell luminous stones than gathering diamonds? After the first one, it's better off selling the diamond. Yeah, but I need... I need... Two more? And I can sell it? To the... To the... To the... To the gem lady? Cause she wanted ten. And I can get an extra... Little bit of... Money. So it'll be worth. And luminous stones are pretty easy to find. I think there was a whole bunch in the mountain, right? The Death Mountain. Near the near the uh near the onsen. Maybe we should go check. We we just need twenty, right? Okay. Save. They're glowing at night. Um Yeah, but there was the where was the onsen? Was this the onsen? Was this the onsen? Mall of Death I think this was the onsen, right? We'll we'll get to the tower and see. <sighs> Hot spring. Light blue is onsen. I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna take another bite out of my sandwich. Ah! I got two down my fingers. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, we can use the sensor. Change target. Um... Materials. Oh, I didn't take a picture of them, did I? Wait, I can just drop the one I have and then take a picture of it. <laughs> take the picture of the deposit itself. Wait, I can't. It does not say anything. Luminous stone, right? 
Oh, it needs to be the vein. No! Okay. Find the onsen. Onsen down there. There was a whole bunch. I guess I could have gone to the shrine, huh? Wait, that's a guardian, isn't it? It's moving. Why is it here? <laughs> it looks like a spider. I don't like it. Wait, is that a Korok? That's a Korok. He's a Korok. Yes. Where's the missing piece, though? Must be somewhere. It's like, no wonder I don't like the guardians. They look like spiders. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we gotta make it exactly the same. Oh, I think I know where it, where I need to put it. Right here. Get in there. Gyro. Come on. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> I think the, the the problem is is that it's not that I don't like them that much because I know they're 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 around to do good things but also that thing looks breakable like a Korok. Um but what's that? That's also a Korok, isn't it? But they just always appear when you don't expect them, is what. They always catch you off guard. Like, if I see one, like, crawling on the floor, like, else, like, outside or something, I don't mind. But when they catch me by surprise is what I don't like. I know what to do. First! Number one, we're gonna break this rock and free the Korok inside. Because 95% it's a, it's a Korok. Yeah, I just don't like being surprised by insects. One, one thing I don't really, really like is like wasps. Wasps are just scary. Yeah, ha ha! Nice. Wasps are evil. I think, like, uh, what's it? What is that? Is that a cork? But, um, I think there used to be, like, a, uh, a, um, a wasp nest not too far away from. My parents' house back in the day, and we used to get wasps like randomly entering our bathroom, and that was not fun. I would say, not fun at all. Yeah. Especially in the summer, yeah. <gasps> Wait, I can upgrade my weapon now. Maw of Death Mountain, or weapon slot rather. Okay, where was I going? I was going to find more Luna stones. Okay. 
And I should probably change my bow back to not the sniper one. <laughs> Where was it? It was like a giant trench of sorts where I went. And there was like a whole bunch of luminous stones at the bottom. Oh, I should have gotten that butterfly. At least it's sunny. Oh, there it is. These are the kind of thing I wanted to look for. Right here. Okay, picture time. Save. Nice. And then... I do the sensor, change target, this one. Nice, nice. And then a weapon, I'll use the stone crusher. Very nice. Got one, two, got a flint. There's a Korok. Not a Korok. Is that a Korok? No, that, that rock in the middle looks suspicious though. Oh, there's some over there. Maybe I can I can fly. Wait, I don't hear the blip blip anymore. It's not work no, it should work when I'm flying. Or gliding. We're mining. Oh, is it up? Maybe. Oh, it must be. Bird bro! Oh. Mining our own business. Mining, mining, mining. Oh, we're getting close. It's beeping. <gasps> this must be it. Surely. Stop beeping. Rare ore deposit. <gasps> I'll take it. And an ore deposit. About this one. It's just an ore deposit. Oh, it's beeping this way. Is it all the way up there? I wonder. Oh. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I'm just getting flint. This way. Is it down below? Is it across? Oh, it's right below me. <laughs> of course. Sneaky, sneaky. Nice, nice, nice. 
a good one. Okay, there's more this way. How many do I have now? I have ten! Okay, I need ten more. Trust the beep beep. Okay, it must be down that way then, huh? Okay, be on our lookout here. Oh, it's right there. I see it. <gasps> We're gonna be rich. Very, very rich. Get all the luminous stones. <gasps> That's a lot. Three more. It's becoming nighttime though. Kind of scary. Come on, beep beeps. Oh, what's this? Sweat violet? Oh, I knew it. They do glow at night, so it is easier to find. True. Let me climb. Let me climb. So slow. But I'll make it. What's that noise? Is that a frog? That looks like a Korra. Also, that might just be a... Was it? Moglin. <laughs> okay, what weapon? Oh, I have the... Oh no, it's just the... It's just the bird. It's just ostrich, okay. Okay, that's definitely a Korra, right? There's three trees? It has to be. It's so... Not natural. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't see anything... Puzzle-like. Climb the middle one? Why is there just a random tree like this? Oh. Sometimes they're on the top. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Is that an ore in the bottom? It is. Sometimes trees are just trees. Exactly. And sometimes Ina is just Ina. <gasps> More rare ore. More money. Oh. Oh, these are normal ore stuff. His valley damage now. Must be nearby. Where is it? Are you guys taking a hold of it? Is that what it is? Um, what shall I bonk them with? Maybe I'll try out the Master Sword. Now, where is 
against the lunar stone. This put, I'm just like, what's it? Wait, where are the arrows? Free arrows. <laughs> here are my free arrows. Thank you. Yeah, all your friends are dead. I wish I could just burn down this whole thing. Unfortunately, I cannot. Some growling. Where did all my arrows go? Did they go really that far? What is that growling noise? Something seems to be snoring. Is that a Hinox, maybe? Lost to the wind, honestly. Sleeping. <laughs> that sounds like a henna. Where is it? I hear the snore. Oh. Wait, wasn't there one more? Yeah. Oh, maybe it wasn't a Hinox. Um, uh, Master Ow! 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 Oh, I'm back at the drive. <laughs> All right, well, what were we doing? We were looking for. <laughs> we were looking for luminous stones, right? It's it's beeping. It's beeping. <laughs> really went downhill, honestly. <gasps> There's a core up there too. Wait, but where was the one that was like beeping here? Maybe it is this way. No, this way. Oh, it's this way. Ooh. 
We're close. Oh, it must be down there, huh? Is that Korok? Seems like a Korok. Okay. It's down here. But there's a Korok up here, so we gotta get that first. Metal detecting at the beach. Honestly. Ooh, mushroom. Okay. There must be a rock here, then. Which I can bring. It's all the way over there? You know what? I shall use the technique that's been passed down by generations. Uh, where was the rock? Generations of tacos have. <gasps> Ina, the elders forbid it. No, I must use the technique. The breath of the taco. Six four. Sneaky sneak. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, I'm trying to get a korok here. Very yahaha. I shall I shall now make my exit. Thank you. Oh, don't tell me it's on the other side. It is on the other side. Okay. Well. Ooh. Signs of treasure chest? Question? Oh no, that's just the box that I needed for the puzzle. I thought I was a. I thought I thought it was a. I thought it was treasure. Maybe maybe the treasure was the friends we made along the way. <sighs> okay, well, figure out this uh. Puzzle here, okay. Four, 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 three. Uh. Okay, we just gotta fill in. Fill in this here. Right here. Get in there. Thank you. Okay, so the uh it's definitely up there. And we don't have we don't have bird bro. We're gonna have to go with the second best option. Okay. Welcome to Mountain Survival with Link. In today's episode we cover hot springs. Hot mountainous areas. And just the wind. A daunting task indeed. But nothing Link can't climb. Unless it's rainy. Then it's impossible. <laughs> Survival tips don't die. Don't slip. Have confidence. <laughs> New objective? Excuse me? Where was the other... Uh, was that it? No? Uh oh. There is a... There seems to be a lack of stamina. You know what we must do? We must get to the closest ledge possible where we won't fall to our death. Will we make it? Um... Let go and find out. We are safe. <laughs> we were not safe. Well, well, well. It seems we may not be able to reach our destination on time. What we must do is to use the game mechanics 
and uh eat some st stamina food that will refill our stamina <gasps> just enough for us to get to a not slippery spot to die cross fingers stand still okay all right let go trust in the process and now we are safe. <laughs> By the time we get to the top, I assume we will be reaching the cooldown on Bird Bro. <laughs> By the by the time I reach the top, we're gonna get our Bird Bro back. And we stopped hearing the beep beeps, which means that we have probably passed the spot and uh, then put all we put on our our gear and uh, take out our bombs yep. and of course bomb almost everything. That tries to burn us. Yep. Oh wait, I'm resistant to flame. Rivali's gale is now ready. That's no problem anymore. I don't burn with this gear. I forgot. Oh, brilliant! Look at all this ore. Look at all these enemies yep. flying to die. <laughs> I fear no flame. I just want stone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Wait, these are normal ores. Oh wait, these are luminous stones. <gasps> Do I have enough now? I might as well get a couple extra. <laughs> My stone smasher broke! Seems like it's time to use a champion's weapon. <laughs> that's what. That's what. That, that, that's like a rookie to me, right? To mine. The right to mine. Okay, I can go back before the. Uh, before the. Um, that that uh, perhaps guardian reaches me, of course. That's how that's how they get their uh get their food cuz they eat stones, right? <laughs> but I can farm the smasher where I save the young Oh, right. I remember that place. <laughs> it's basically like their pitch for Wait, there's a stone deposit nearby? I could have just... Oh, hey, you got a quest. Hi. What is it? Hey? I got a weird face. I'm a Hylian? Oh. Hi, Leon? Huh. Ooh. I came from really far away, right? Yeah? Happened to see my mom May on the way, did you? Oh. <laughs> Frogging? Hot-footed frogs and selling them to earn some money. Mm? Oh, you felt sorry for me, didn't you? No, no. If you want to help, donate some hot-footed frogs. <laughs> five frogs would be enough. Do I have five frogs? I think I have three. Okay. I remember that. But the beep beep. It guides me. <gasps> it stopped beeping as much. Why? What? The 
Is it right below here? <gasps> it must be. Wait, what's so st the signal was so strong before? Oh, it must be over there. Oh, I'm so lazy. You know what? Let's just let's just get this and go. <laughs> I guess I didn't really have to go that far, huh? Okay. Let's just get this. Get to our money. Yeah. Oh, here are the stones. Oh. Yes. Oh, he's oh. actually gonna count to ten. Oh. Six, oh. seven, oh. eight, nine, oh. ten. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Where is he getting all these diamonds from? I must get to a supplier. Oh. Hmm. Here are the stones. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> oh. One, oh. two, mm. three, oh. four, five, six, oh. seven, oh. eight, nine, oh. ten. Oh. 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 I guess I'm getting sleepy for not being able to sleep that much recently. Mm. Okay, and then we go back to the town. Uh, right here. Uh, counting luminous stones. It's a tale as old as time, you know? They, uh, tell the, uh, how the children in Zora's domain fall asleep. <laughs> ah! I'm on fire! Is it my bow? It's my bow! Okay. Uh... I mean, I would assume that... Daruk's weapon isn't flammable. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta find the lady. Gotta find... Hopefully... Hopefully... Still wants to buy diamonds and nothing different. Oh, there, there she is. Hello! Sabota. Yes! I do have five or ten, ten diamonds. <gasps> I'm so rich. Stocks. Okay, how about for today? Should I finish getting the memories today? I mean, we got the shield. So, I think I'm prepared. I think we might be able to go. Yeah. They're not that hard to get. I would assume so. Maybe. Okay, let's let's think of our our point of entry here. So, um I feel like for for this one, right? We can probably enter through like Wait, why why is this one stamped? Oh yeah, we went here, right? The uh the the memory. We can delete this. Okay. Okay, so I feel like we can get here. Get down here. Or or over there. We can probably glide down to here. Right, and then tra traverse this way up to this one, right? 
And then on the front one, um, we can probably try and bird bro from here and then glide down this way. Yeah. Oh, was actually, actually, what's this? Wait. Okay. Reach the shrine in the castle first, maybe. <laughs> okay, that's that's our plan. Okay, that'll be that'll be our goal for today. Cause I don't think I can do another six hours stream cause I'm kind of sleepy. <sighs> ah. Yeah, it seems like the construction stopped, so maybe I'll take a nap after this. Ahem. <clears throat> The two memories go... okay. Whew. Oh, please don't tell me it's thunderstorming again. <laughs> Why always... Why? <laughs> Every single time... You know what? We have to go to the forest anyway. We're gonna upgrade our weapon slot. Exactly. You can build a fire beside the shrine, but it's literally... It's literally raining. It's gonna, tr it's gonna turn off the fire. Oh yeah, shrine detector, right. We don't need the luminous stones anymore. Okay. Good call, good call. Shakakura! Weapon stash! Yes, 17. See, all those Korok detours were worth it. Two new slots. <laughs> Expand the blood bath. Yeah. Yes, nothing right now. Bye bye. Okay, let's see if they restocked on uh, the uh, arrows and stuff. Miscellaneous goods. Yeah. Yeah. It's always sunny here. Look how beautiful this place is. Oh, yes, arrows. What? I'll take them all. Thank you. I'll take your rice, rice too. I'll take all your rice. I'm rich now, guys. I can buy your entire, entire store like hundreds of times. It's always sunny in the Korok lands. Okay, let's sleep till the morning. Hello. And I eat off again. <gasps> oh, thank you, Kong. I'll sleep till tomorrow morning. Yeah. Ah, oh, can't stop the yawns. <gasps> okay, thank you, Kora. You're a lifesaver. Okay, let's let's put on our gear. Um, we already have the shield on. We gotta put our hood, our chest piece. We got the shield. We got the bow. Uh, put on the master sword. Why not? And we shall. Surely, rain must have stopped by now. Surely. <laughs> it's always raining there? Nah. It's the morning. 
Okay, now we save. Yeah, that's the, uh, the carpet. Okay, so our... Okay, we... Wait a minute. Face the other way. Okay, this way. This is the way we gotta go. Okay, towards the castle. Okay. Be on your guard now. We're in enemy territory. Okay. I feel like we might as well go... Kind of north? Because we want to kind of go right here. Okay, to go towards the tower. We'll have to climb some hills. Okay, let's go towards the red. Okay, be on the lookout. Guardians can be anywhere. That's where the memory was. Okay. Can we possibly like climb this red thing? Are we allowed to do that? Or is that just a big guardian? Some the coplins on horses, though. Is a Korok? No. Guardians in surf, you worry. Yeah, but I also gotta find shrines. Giant field. Oh, the weather is changing. I know it's just becoming cloudy, but. Sidetracked, so I'll mark the Korok here. I'll mark it with the uh, leaf. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. They're safe. Closer to the castle now. 
Luke's protection is now ready to roll. You scared me, Daryl. This is a bit to the castle. Okay, the music didn't stop. Okay, the question is, do we just drop down from here? inside the Let's get on this rock and see where I must go. I can't see properly because of all this haze. Is it up there I need to go? That looks like Ganon Goo. I feel like it's somewhere, somewhere there I gotta go. Like that's the that's the hexagon thing. Must be like right here-ish. Just mark it. Right? Oh, that's a little further than than I thought. Okay, change. No, nope, I don't want to change the stamps. Delete pin. Okay. A little more to the left. So this. Oh, maybe it's closer to the castle over there. Where is the place? Tower? Mark this tower? <laughs> Look at that low distance model. <laughs> oh yeah, we can go towards the tower. Okay. Oh yeah, it's like be at the end of this tower right there. Okay, that's where we need to go. So we could possibly go a little higher up. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> okay, what's our plan, chat? Do we go he uh, This is kind of lower down, but it's kind of the same level. It will get us across, but I feel like there might be like... Guardians roaming this way. Unless we go here and then drop down... Somewhere there. Through the front gate. <laughs> Have confidence. Okay, maybe we we'll go towards the back. I guess that's like, uh, that's one of the. One of the pillar things, huh? That thing one over there. Can we climb it? I don't think we'll be able to climb it. <laughs> mm, 
There's wolves. They're gonna attack me, aren't they? Unless I leave them a gift of explosion! so nervous okay the one i'm staring okay that that was the one i was expecting to go to this one Whew. okay guardian check approach carefully Oh, there's a flying one. There's a flying one. If I can at least get a little bit up the pillar, I'm not, I know I might not get through the entire pillar, but if I can stand somewhere and then I can board bro, I can definitely get a lot. Of the ways in. No, don't attack me unless you want to die. Thank you. Okay. As long as we don't randomly run into a walking guardian, I think we should be relatively okay. Because the flying ones are just roaming the area, so. Okay, I think we're in a good position here. Okay, let's study the movement of the flying one. Okay, it does check that pillar, but I think it like rotates around. Okay. It does a loop. As long as we don't see it come up, right? Can we climb this? Yeah, it's on its way. Okay, so we can't climb this. Okay. So we'll go here. have to oh we can take the waterfalls but i'm on the other side <laughs> i think we can glide over and make it in time before the guardian sees us and then we'll climb up this way or 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 walk over this way and climb this way Mipha's grace is ready. Thanks, Mipha. The map changed. Oh dear, the map changed. I did, I did not expect this. There's a cutscene. Shoot the beam! Oh, they didn't shoot the beam yet. <laughs> that, that's Guardian. That's Guardian! Um... Why did I save here? I have different save points I can go back to. I saved in front of it. Um, I can... Okay, my plan right now, because there's a building in front of me. I'm gonna run down to it. To try and line of sight the laser. 
Um, and I will see if I can. Uh, I can dodge it. I already have the shield equipped. Okay. See? Okay, plan work, plan work. I just gotta figure out what kind of guardian it is, okay? okay. Plan one word. Does it show, like... Where am I? Oh, there I am. What are all these red things? Are these gates I gotta go through? <gasps> the PGM! <gasps> What's in here? So the guardian was up here. Was it walking around? <laughs> and I twist my camera angle. Uh, 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 I can't. <laughs> it seems stationary. Here's some rocks. Okay, that, that's the garden. Okay, there's, there's that one. I think the one in question is up there. Satori Mount. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can I outrun this? I want to see the big map. That might be impossible right now. Is it leave the area one? No. Okay. I think I'm going the right way, but I'm not sure, right? <laughs> there was a flying one rotating around here. I just want to get the memory and get out. It's too scary here. Is that the tower I was going to? I think so. Okay, where was the flying guardian? It doesn't come up this high, right? I hope not. <laughs> oh, that. Don't exist. I don't exist. I don't exist. Sí. 
safe. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Flames are scared. My ones watch the floors. They don't watch the walls if I hang on to them. I hope. Okay, that looks like the guardian's leg. I got the wrong tripod. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the Koroks are piloting the Guardians, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that one's still looking for me, isn't it? It's angry. It's definitely looking for me. I need to go to. I'm pretty sure that's that's the one I need to go to. Okay. Uh, there is rock. Yeah, that one is spinning pretty fast. That one might be a. Uh... That one might be a uh, uh, ancient arrow angle. I could listen to the music forever, though. There's a possibility there's a stationary guardian on top of this place, on top of this wall. Very high chance. Or relatively good chance. That one looks not alive. Okay. Well, let's get inside the inside the place. Okay. This place is scary. I feel like I'm like a fugitive or something, getting hunted down by the Hylian bullies. Are they finally getting back to me for all I've done exploding, you know, crates and everything else? <laughs> I, I kind of am. I, I know, but... Isn't there like a joke amongst like... Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom players? Where they call Link the Calamity Link? <laughs> maybe... Maybe Ganon is the hero that's born to defeat Calamity Link. <laughs> But he hasn't succeeded. Oh, it's just the moon. Okay. I think this guardian is not alive. Can I climb this? Relatively sure this one is enough. Okay. 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 <sighs> There's just the question is, will that guardian see me?
I could bird bro. And climb. I don't wanna waste the ancient arrows, right? So is there a guardian here? If I land over that way. That's just the goo. Can I climb the tower inside, maybe? The ability times are halved? Ooh. Okay, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> It's like a cave looking thing here. Save. Any signs of danger? Oh, that music change. That's a. Uh... The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Thanks, Drew. That's a long way down. Hello? Anyone home? Hello? There's an eye. Oh, the, the map changed. Okay. Well, we gotta go up. We're here for the memory. Okay. Should I try taking the stairs? Wait, was there always a guardian that low? Or high? Did it smell me from far away? Okay, it's gone. Okay. It smells fear. <laughs> That's a live guardian right there. And another one right there. Oh, it definitely sees me. <laughs> oh, that one's gonna see me. If it doesn't see me on the wall, I can do this, right? Options is to climb this tower, right? Wait, where did this guardian go? One that was oh, it's right above. Me. Oh, it's raining. Surely, if I don't move, I won't slip. <laughs> If I don't jump, then uh, the guardians on the top won't see me. Like that one right there that I didn't see before. <laughs> I 
I, I can do this all day, Garden. I used to live here, you know. Just like, just like the good old days playing hide and seek with Dilda. <laughs> okay, I feel like if I'm like right underneath the bridge, the flying one won't see me. That's that's the plan, but the one on the top of the stairs will see me. It's not it's not the guardians I'm scared of, right? It's it's the slipping and then them catching me off guard. <laughs> I have great core strength. Rain is the one one enemy I fear for climbing. Link is the strongest grip in the universe, honestly. It's not really a parry, it's it's the rook. <laughs> okay. How far will Bird Bro take me? side this way? oh someone's awake it's near the tower oh it's on on that side okay I, I gotta run huh Just gotta wait till the uh, the guardian's not around. <gasps> we did! It, we did! It! <gasps> oh, there's a guardian up there! Hi! <laughs> so we can get out of here. What is that over there, though? Okay, okay. Oh. The not evil guardian. Is this when they, like, all of a sudden turn against us? This is the start of the invasion? Incredible. Maybe We're not. At the point <laughs> where we can actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the guardians and the divine beasts. And should Ganon never show itself again, we'll be well positioned to defend uh, ourselves. About that. What are you doing out here, Zelda? Oh, <gasps> the king. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I kneeled so quick. I was assessing the results of the experiment with the guardians. 
These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against... I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. Uh-huh. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. Which is? Let me ask you once more. When will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. Uh, I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the goddess. And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Try. Don't you see? Just try your best. You. My hope. My hope is that you. that you allow me to contribute here in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. She's not. As the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. <gasps> and command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves. That you are the heir to a throne of nothing. Nothing but failure. It is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Poor Zelda. <gasps> She's trying so hard with whatever she can, but we also gotta run in here. Oh, <gasps> Silent Prince. Oh, this is her study. <gasps> it's all destroyed. Okay, first page. Today I met with Impa of the Shika tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Robbie, other uh, respected members of her tribe. Tomorrow I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the guidance stones. This is how she found the Shika slate, right? There we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the guidance stone. It is a rectangular object, small enough to be held in my two hands. Shika text is featured prominently on it. It is made from an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrine scattered across each region. Impa proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Shika Slate. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Sheikah tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight I could- I thought I could win. Ha! Huh. We did it. We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that the stone slate is capable of producing images, perfect likeness of the things you point at. She found the smartphone. <laughs> Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of the Shika technology. Still, I know there is more to learn. There must be. We believe the Shika slate may have a function that will allow it to control the guidance stone. We must continue our research and quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the divine beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. <gasps> She's a genius! Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Urbosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in her fight against the rising calamity. Ravi has restored mobility to many of the guardians we've excavated. But... We have still yet to find all the guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. 
They are said to have stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is, no matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and to only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who has fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? That is Pura's theory, and I concur. And yet, my experiments so far have been fruitless. It's the red pillars that surround the castle now. Oh! Still, we must exhaustively investigate all means of closing the calamity. We must not give up, no matter what. Never give up! Uh, I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. And the war against the Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. <gasps> But she fixed it, and she saved my life. Oh. Okay, well, our, our time... Our time here was fun, but... And I know there's a shrine in the castle I should get, but I think that's, uh... That's for the future Ina, okay? I need to get the last memory. <laughs> I know we came very close, but that's for that's for the ending, you know? Yeah. And we'll start over from scratch and experience all this horror and sneakiness from the start. <laughs> oh. Uh I mean this works! There's a guardian there though. Let me just get out of here. Okay, this works. Okay. I mean, we we, we got to where we needed to be. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna come here. I didn't expect to uh, to be brought out here right away. Um, this is this is the last memory. Okay. All right, it's time to take out the big guns. We prepared for this. We have night arrows in our dream. And what's the most? Okay, we got the royal bow. Okay. Wait, but it one shots anyways. I might as well use a use a normal bow. Attack up four. One arrow becomes a price of three. Okay, I've gotta aim at the eye. <sighs> okay, aim for the eye. I don't really need the loot. I just I just wanna safely get to my memory. Okay. Look at me. Look at me! <laughs> Wait, there is loot. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, there's an eye there. Wait, change arrows, change arrows. Does it have to open? Wait, there's a guardian behind it too. Who? 
room. Other side is open. But there's a there's a guard. <laughs> Get closer so they can see me. There's an easier way to change things, but... I feel a little more secure changing it this way, so I don't press wrong... Wrong... Wrong, uh, button. Because I'm known to do that. Okay, now... Okay, now we gotta go where the pillars are. Which is... Is it here? Because this is where the pillars are. Okay, gotta go down. This way. Not the most ideal route, I gotta say. And there's this, there's a guard in here. <laughs> it, there's a guard in. Try using the master sword on it. Ah! I stepped in the goo! Into the forest. Yamero. Well, there's 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 one right there. Okay. I'm um, high. I'd like to hear about our Lord and Savior, Master Sword. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what happened to my weapon? Okay, Master Sword. Okay, I got the shield. Wait, I target that. Why are you not targeting? Why are you targeting? Okay, that works. Oh, it shoots through caps. Okay, um. <laughs> Why am I facing backwards? The guardian is right there. You know, this is. This is how things are gonna be. Oh, I can cut the legs. Oh, there's a there's a there's a stable one. Okay, that one that one's long range. <laughs> okay. Oh, it blew up. We're safe. Safe. Phew. 
I got a big one. Exactly. Where's it? Okay. Right here. Oh, Eager Clad, not right now. Must you do this? Ow. Really want to do this? Yeah, that's right. Drop the bananas. Okay. We're almost there. At the last memory. Oh. Secret ground room. Okay, let me let me eat my sandwich while this this is played. <laughs> Oh, is this the first the sword that seals the darkness? First you have shown time. unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity. Mm. And have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Mm -hmm. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight, the sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. We pray for your protection, and we hope that. That the two of you will grow stronger together as <gasps> one. It's when I got the sword, right? Forged in the long distant past. The sword Gee, this is uplifting. Darkness. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. Hmm. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Oh, give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Oh. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. So sad. Oh. I did. I found all of them. Okay, let's get to a safe safe place and then uh, we can uh, we can rewatch all of them. I mean, we got to go back to uh we gotta go back to Kakariko Village. Yeah, yeah, okay. Talk to... Talk to Impa. Yeah, finish the quest. I still haven't finished my sandwich. <laughs> Time to watch all the memories. Thanks for the memories. Even if they weren't so great. Okay, let's catch some... Uh... <gasps> of course, can't forget our free apples. We gotta, we gotta make sure we're nice and dry. Okay, time for a movie. Oh, there's one missing between these. I'm guessing this might... Oh, this is a memory, so... Oh, is this where... Where I... I guess I like... This is, this is where I got hurt, you know? And they had to dunk me in the... In the HP restoring bath. 
Talk to Impa first. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh. Ah. So the sword has been returned to the ri its rightful owner. <laughs> Just as I expected of you, hero. The sword that seals the darkness is your counterpart. So long as that blade is at your side, you shall wield enormous power. The princess risked everything for you and that sword. Do not forget that, and do not waste this chance. Ah, that's right. Mm. I sense it. Their presence. Daluk, Urbosa, Vivali, Mifa. Hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone. Oh. But I could not protect them. They died without fulfilling their destinies. I have lived all this time thinking they died in vain. But this energy I feel from their presence. Ah, it seems they have not given up. I can also sense that they were all overjoyed to see you again. Now you all serve the same purpose. Now is the time to attack Calamity Ganon while he is weak. Hurry to the princess. Go now. Oh. Oh. I believe you will find Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle. Even with the bless uh, blessings of divine beasts on your side, you must be careful. Calamity Ganon will be well protected. Be prepared for anything. Uh, by the way, how are you faring thus far? Yeah, I got all the memories back. Oh? No. All 12 pictures already? You visited every place? I did. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. Oh, here is what happened. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. One last oh. memory. This is the final picture. Does it look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in a half day's time. Now go, child, seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. One more. Okay. What memory of your... Yeah, judging from the time, it seems like... It seems like it's when I got defeated. She said half a day's time. I'm guessing it's like probably on the field, isn't it? Like on the way to the... I guess like the first shrine. Is south from here? It does seem familiar. Wait, is this where you... Wait, 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 wait. Is this where you... Where I photographed the first... First... Uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh... Outside? Yeah, in Hateno... Hateno village, Hateno front. Where was that? Uh... Hateno village is... He... Here. The swamp? Oh yeah, Fort Hateno. So around here, I'm guessing. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the staples. Um... Okay, so we see... Okay, I'll see it in the... In the album one, so I can see a little closer. Maybe I'll take a better picture of it. Okay, maybe this is fine. Okay, so we see some hills. 
bit behind it and then the pillar. So on the map, half the field. We see the Twin Peaks, so it must be like facing this way. Down this way, anyway. So I guess we'll find it somewhere here. Somehow. Let's just go to the stables then. Won't be the fastest way to the stables. There's a shrine here. Ah, <sighs> okay. It must be somewhere there. Surely. This is probably where I guess I had my final stand before I fell 100 years ago. There's a shrine next to the stable. There. Oh yeah, there's the, there's the lake one. <laughs> it blended in with the water, okay? <laughs> it blended in with the water. Oh, it's getting so hot. Oh, it stopped because there's no more water in the thing. Okay, no wonder. Ah, oh, okay, I can feel the fan again. I guess the fan turned off because I have the auto humidify on here as well. And then it wasn't humidifying. So, <gasps> Beetle! Beetle, bro! You got some arrows. You got more of those arrows. Yeah, I'll take those arrows. Oh, I can get the frog for the quest. I'll take them all. Because I don't only need two, technically. Wow! Wait, can't I also buy the cricket for the quest as well? <gasps> yes. Look at all the things I can do now that I'm rich. Ah, ha, ha, wow. Ha, ha, ha. wow! Wow! That barely dented my wallet! Goodbye. Okay, now we gotta pick up our free apples. Oh, wow! They told me to take as many as you want. Oh, okay! I won't, I won't, I won't refuse that. All right, now, 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 we gotta think. So, this is the twin peaks, right? So it's a little south, not south, uh, it's like that way, that way. Pick up, Cora? No. East? Yes, east is what I meant to say. I'm kind of scared now though. Because I know, I know for sure there's a live guardian here. Maybe there is more than one. And there's a land taco. We'll take the forest route. This tree is really questionable. Like a core of questionable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We have a little bit of high ground. So it has a lot of uh, guardians in the picture, for sure. And the pillars are in front of us, so it has to be more down this way, I see. And the mountains right there. It is kind of cloudy, so. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe I should use stasis instead. Does that work? Does stasis work? Those aren't dueling peaks in the picture. Oh, is it this side? It's facing this way. Yeah, it seems lower than the dueling peaks. But it is kind of still... Sort of tall. Rivali's Gale is oh. now ready. Okay, thanks, bro. It must be on the other side, then. Okay, Guardian Sensor. There's like a single pillar in the picture. Is it this one? Please do not bother me. I am trying to... Wait, how come this one is like... Wait, I should probably not use the Master's. <laughs> Ow! Flurry Rush! Ikazoo! It's silver. <gasps> then does that mean I can use... The silver pickle? Uh... Hmm... They're like a not so good attack up above. So I can use this. It's like a special. Ow! So it's metal, right? Wait, how come I? I couldn't. I couldn't jump. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll just use a different weapon. They hurt? More than I thought. Oh wait, I have a random... Uh, I use this. Flurry Rush! It's just a stronger Bokoblin. Oh, it dropped the ruby! Okay, we gotta we gotta regroup and think about the angle at which we are approaching the subject. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Thank you, Daruk. Okay. Uh album. <laughs> okay, so there's like a little little like it's like a missing tooth almost. We we should find that. A missing tooth. On On the... Ah, there's so many mobs! Ah. Oh. Okay. Edge of the audience is badly damaged. Okay. Uh... That, that is fine. Okay. There's like a tooth on the mountain. I'm losing my edge, honestly. <laughs> or is that just a cloud? No, it's definitely a tooth. The, the tall mountain on the left it has to be a dueling peaks, right? That's like... The highest mountain you see. Maybe not? Can we 
to see the tooth. Okay, there is a single pillar. Okay, square pillar is pointing to the right. I did see the square pillar. Could it be that thing? Is it facing this one? Oh! It must be facing this one. I guess I woke someone up. Right? What is it, Blood Moon? No! Wait, we're, we're back to where we started. I guess I can sleep through the night at the stable. <laughs> that, that's an option. We did get disoriented. Indeed. <gasps> ah! The blood food! Time to cook. Do I have to cook now? What do I cook? Anything will crit? Oh, something good then. Some hearts. Do I have a speedy snail? Silently. Durians? I just like how the cooking music just gets rid of it. <laughs> 21? Okay, surely Ganon can't. Can't kill me through 21 hearts. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Give me one more. A 21 plus the 14 that I have. <laughs> okay, I think I think that's good enough for pre Blood Moon cooking. <laughs> Can't touch me if I smell like durians. Keeps all the other mobs away. Max is 30? No! Well, at least I'll have 30. <laughs> at least I'll have 30. And I'll, I'll be stinking like durians. Ugh. Blood Moon's scary. Hey! hey. Uh, Lovely. Oh! Quest! Uh, uh, On the treasure! Oh. Uh... Treasures of the Great Bandit in Misko. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh. What? Uh. They're not gonna talk uh. to me about it? Oh. You know what? I'm rich, you know? I can... I can spend the uh. night in the stables. Uh, 20... Okay, um... Soft bed. Until the morning. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
I can afford to sleep in a soft bed. I know. A luxury. Oh. Ah. Enjoy your stay. I did indeed. <laughs> Okay, we return. Huh? Did you call out to me, sir? Uh, take second in the Hyrule horse gaming. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, cause the first was me. <laughs> Wait, I hear Korok. You guys hear it too, right? I think I might be up there. No! No sidetrack! Focus! Okay, return. Okay, so there is a... Uh... How would I find the teeth in the mountain? Like, I'm pretty sure it's like... It should be like somewhere... Here, maybe. I was so sure. <sighs> Better referencing the ruins? Probably. Hello, Choo Choo. Wait, maybe that's the peak that we saw. Oh, there's the little square... ...thing. Facing right. Feel like I'm getting close. right here! Okay. Sorry, land tackle. I gotta remember. <laughs> okay, there's a the little tooth. I guess it's not on the mountain. It was like a bunch of mountains. Okay. We gotta remember now. It's almost been five hours already. I said, oh, maybe no six hour stream, but it might be five hours. <laughs> Out the gas. Ah! Think. Save yourself. Go. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. No. Run. Sword. So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Princess, are you alright? Oh, the Sheikah drive. Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. 
If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. My battery level is low. Oh. I guess it's been a couple of days. Link. <gasps> Zelda. You have recovered all of your memories of us from 100 years ago. I did. I am here. Inside Hyrule Castle. It is now time for you to defeat Ganon. I will. Okay, we finished it. Okay, we're gonna go to Kakariko Village real quick. We're gonna finish watching the story once more all the way through. And then we'll wrap it up for today. This cocker you could go to the I feel like yes, this is this is a good lead into into the final episode of our Breath of the Wild series. We will defeat Ganon and we will go live the slow life in the outskirts. All right, time for time to wash through everything. <laughs> so I started Girl off, of Hyrule, you know, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. Well, yeah, you have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness. Started off not too close to Zelda, you and know. have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Oh, what's Whether it in Japanese? Is that? Oh, maybe. In time or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight. Guess since he watched that once in sacred English. Sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. Wait, can we? We pray for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I was quite curious about the uh, JP voice. So, uh, is this your... do I have to go back to? Oh, change. Oh, let me save first, I guess. Title screen. I don't know, maybe I'll play Tears of the Kingdom in Japanese. Get my uh, listening skills. <laughs> okay, um. Voice language. Japanese. Is it Japanese now? Okay. Continue. <gasps> Play the Italian. <laughs> I won't understand the thing though. It sounds good in French. <laughs> Maybe I'll listen to it in my own time. Okay. Movie time. <gasps> she sounds so different. その頼まぬ努力 そのたとそして大麻の剣に宿らんことは遥か遠き過去に生まれし。でも、ダブルリテル、ライクシーズハズ。全と頼み見てだな。大気の騎士任命の記念に太鼓の伝説を生まれてみろって流行らせてたの。
報告しょうがないよおひいさまにとっちゃあいつの存在はあっ、ミーファーズボイスコンプレックスの象徴みたいなのだっただっだっあの君には<笑> 薬剤討伐の要に<笑> ドッカバカにするぞ。ごめんごめん。君は一人じゃあの真珠に行くことさえできないんだっけね。Oh yeah, that's so much more like taunting in Japanese. Doesn't even say good luck seeing in the dark. He just laughs. It flies off. Doesn't explain. Doesn't even wish me luck. Ha 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 ha! Just leaves. <laughs> but I feel like that's very fitting. Kore kara Goron City ni mukaimas. Ano shinju to Darutel no aisho takameru chosei wo okona wa neba nari masen. Nando ka ugokaseta to wa itte mo. まだまだ未知の部分は残されています。それでもあれは人の手で作られたもの。人工のものならきっと理解できますし、使いようもわかります。だから私は必ずあれを薬剤ガノンに対抗できるよう仕上げてみせます。あなたはその背中の剣を使いこなせていますかその剣に宿るという内なる声それが聞こえているのですかほうブロー <gasps> Yeah, it's definitely like a Hime-sama voice. Very like dignified. You know? <gasps> Bro! <音声><音声><音声><音声><音声><音声><音声><音声> やくさいガノンってやらがどんなやつか知らねえけどよ。俺は必ずこの景色を守って見せるぜ。なあ、相棒。そういや、おめえを姫さんお付きの騎士に選んだのはハイラル王だってな。<笑> 
直々の使命じゃねえか頑張んな Thanks, bro. まああの姫さんは知恵と気合い入りすぎっつうか余裕がねえっつうか特におめえにはしかし、なんだここ数も落石が起こるほど山が荒ぶるってことはいや、まさかな。There are signs something is happening. Imagine being attacked by your food. I mean, chickens would attack you if you try to approach them, right? Zelda's resentment. Okay, this is when she got mad at me. Should have just given the slate to, to Link when he was here, but he l l open h t o u r タイマの剣に選ばれたもののための施設それは間違いないけれど肝心の起動方法がわからないどうすればこの中に入ることがヘイゼルダーヘイいくら国王の命令であっても、どうの私が護衛など必要ないと言っているのです。But... 城に戻り、父にそう伝えてください。But... Wait for me. <笑>ついてこないでください<笑>ああ。でも早かったじゃないかさすがお日様好きの騎士だ、uh, 今日の調査も張り切ってたからね Maybe I should reply in Japanese so voice isn't Japanese でどうだいこの子と仲良くできてんのかいまあ<笑><笑>そうかいでも勘弁してやりなよお日様はあんたの背にある剣を見るたび落ち込んじまうのさ<笑>自分はハイラル王家の出来損ないだってそ,うです、ね、それはあんたのせいじゃないんだけどね<笑>この子はさずっと頑張ってきたんだよ<笑>封印の力を得るために小さい頃から毎日毎日祈りの修行冷たい泉で無理するもんだから熱出したり倒れたり<笑>それでも力は得られなくて。せめて自分にできることをって異物の研究まで始めて本当にいい子なんだ、うん、だからさ守ってやるんだよあんたがねはい冷えてきたね<笑>そろそろ起こした方がいいなうん That's all I have to say. <笑>あなたどうしてここに
Wait, Link doesn't look like that. Link looks like, looks like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, and this cutscene. One of my favorites where the music comes in. Perfect. Never gets old. That main theme just sends chills down my spine. Okay, so what happened after that? Oh, yeah. This is the getting close arc. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, She's so strong. Honestly, I feel like I feel like she she she's got the I don't know the the what's it the triforce of courage <laughs> and wisdom. Silent princess. Oh, is this this is the frog one? Happy times. Oh. This is the flower called Himeshizuka. I picked that a lot for you, Zelda. <laughs> she's such a dork like like she finds something she likes and she talks about it a lot oh she's like me for real for real <laughs> Oh, but then right after, <gasps> are you guys ready to hear about hear me play? <sighs> okay. こうしてると。出会った頃のことを思い出すね。あなたはまだ子供で。無茶してすぐに怪我をして。その度私はこうしてあなたを直してた。入りや人もあなたは気がついたら私よりも大人になっちゃってたけど。
復活するかもっていう厄災ガノンはどんな相手なのかどういう戦いになるのか詳しいことはまだわからないでもどんなに過酷な戦いになったとしてもみんながあなたが傷ついてしまった時は私が治す何度でもどんな怪我でも私はあなたを守りたいから厄災ガノンとの戦いが終わったらそうしたら子供の頃みたいにまたここへ遊びに来てくれるHonestly, one of the first times I'll say it, but I think, it's my opinion, I prefer English Mifa better in this cutscene. It seems more like she's so like soft spoken, like careful. It's like. <laughs> it's very rare where I say, like, oh, I like the English dub better, but I gotta say. For this cutscene with the music, what she's saying, the atmosphere, yeah. Anyways, next one. <laughs> I'm gonna go like hear all the uh, all the different other languages after this, probably after the stream. <laughs> Both are very good though, I gotta say. They're very good. <laughs> Kishino Michoerabi, then Mouse So stand up. Taiba no Tsurugini Erabadu Hodono Kenshin, said Josta. So there was Sibarashi Kotoda to Moimas. Demo Moshi Moshimo Anatani, Ken no Sainoga Matakunakte. So the demo Mawari no Hitotachkara. お前はこの絵の家に生まれたのだから絶対に騎士にならねばならないと言われたらそう言われ続けたとしたらあなたはどうしていたと思いますかえへん Oh, here we are at this cut She's under so much pressure. Guardian, I finally managed to get to the place where I was going. In this way, Guardian and Shinju have to develop their understanding. たとえ厄災ガノンが復活しても対抗する力は得られるはずですここで何をしておるのだ<笑>ガーディアンの実験を見ていました私たちが異物を完全に把握すれば厄災への対応も確かに古代遺物の研究はハイラルにとって極めて重要だだがこの国の姫であるお前がなすべきことは他にあるはずいつまでそうして己の役目から逃げ続けておるのだ逃げてはいません勇気の泉に赴き目浴し祈りを捧げ異物に関わるのをやめ
すべての時間を修行に注げと言うておる。薬剤封印の力を身に宿すすべがそれ以外にあるのだ。Make sure that she's covered all the bases. でも努力しているつもりです。けれど、どうしても。だから、せめて今の私にもできることは。きとない。王として命令する。今後一切、異物に関与することは許さん。泉出の修行に専念せよ。口さがない王宮の者たちに。何と呼ばれておるかは知っていよう。出来損ないの姫、席を果たせぬ無才の姫。<笑>そうではないという証を立てるのだ。よいな。はい、お父様。王家の姫が代々受け継ぎし、厄災を封印する力。それは祈りによって目覚める聖なるもの。そう聞かされて育ちました。<笑>けれど、母が言っていた、体を満たす霊力も、祖母が耳にしたという、精霊の声も、何一つ。私には感じられない。父には何度も叱られました。それは、お前が学者の真似事ばかりやっているからだと。でも、幼い頃からどんなに頑張っても祈っても、古代の神ゆかりのこの地にすがってすら、聖なる力が私を唱うことはなかった。教えてください私には何が足りないのですかほう辛抱強くなだめてあげれば馬には必ず気持ちが通じるあなたに教えてもらったおかげで本当にこの子と仲良くなれましたこの王家の装備も最初この子にはあまり似合わないかなと思っていたんですが今ではすっかり馴染んで見えるんです相手を思う気持ちって大事なんですねうん。あの向こうには知恵の神ネールより名をいただいたラネールという山がそびえていますああ弱い17に満たぬ者知恵なき者として入山を禁ずるラネールはそんなしきたりを持った山なんです力の意外に勇気の進みでも力は目覚めなかった<笑>でもあの地なら知恵の神ゆかりのあの泉でならもしかしたら根拠は何もありませんけれどわずかでも可能性があるのなら私はそれにすがりたいのです明日私は17歳になりますあの山に行ってみようと思いますあ
didn't work out. どうだった、姫さん。神の山での修行はよ。目覚めなかったんだ。封印の力。ごめんなさい。お姫様。頑張ったんだろ。うん。それでダメなら仕方ないよ。それにこの山での修行がすべてってわけじゃないさ。うん。案外何かのきっかけで封印の力を目覚めるかもしれない。ありがとう、ウルボザ。姫様。あの、うまく言えないんだけど、私考えてみたの。大丈夫だ姫さん。奴は俺たちだけで何とかしてみせる。よし、みんな。自分の真珠に乗り込んで厄災を打つ準備だ。俺たちはリンクがガノンと戦うときに一斉攻撃をかける。相棒、おめえは
キャバ。まだ助かる。リンクを。助けられる。姫。姫。ご無事ですか。あなたたちにお願いがあります。この人を。改正のほこらまで連れて行ってください。急いで。彼の命を。And then the last memory. It's no hika. Anata no arjiga, koko to zrede made. Matte te kudasai. Anata no yu yoni. Nagai nemudiga kare no kyoko ubata to stemo. Dai shop. Ano hito wa. Mata kito anata no mai ni araware mas. ハイラルの姫巫女よ。そなた、これからどうするのじゃ。この剣がマスターソードが教えてくれました。シアルトボーイ。私にはやることがまだやれることがあります。強うなられたの。レクノキ様いつの日か彼がここを訪れたら伝えていただけますか私はさてさてさてかの者に聞かせる言葉は主の口よりこそ紡がれるべきではないかはい So good. <sighs> but well, I believe that's a good leeway. Leeway? Lead? Leadway? Leeway? Into, uh, I guess our next Breath of the Wild stream. Where we will hopefully save Zelda. 
save Hyrule, and go live in the countryside happily ever after. Segway, leeway, segway, segway. <laughs> Same difference. But uh, yeah, that's uh, we will be we will be uh, wrapping up breath, the the Breath of the Wild arc soon. So well, that's a that's a very good. I feel so involved in the story. Can't wait to see where this ends. But that's for next time. Anyways, thank you very much, everyone, for coming to watch the stream today. I hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, schedule. I should post it on Twitter, but it's on the uh, free chat schedule post on YouTube. First page, uh, channel page. Yes. So uh, please look forward to that. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the morning, afternoon, evening. And I guess have fun wrapping up Breath of the Wild next time. Okay. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.